This is something nobody's really talking about. Mm -hmm. So what is this big link between autoimmune issues and hormones? Inquiry minds want to know. Here we go. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us once again for Autoimmune Table Talk Live. I'm your co-host, Anne Emanuel. Everybody, I'm Meg UMD, functional and holistic medicine and creator of Transform uh, the Protocol and the Facebook group, Transform Autoimmune Disease Naturally. If you guys haven't joined the Facebook group, go ahead and click the link above or below this video and join the Facebook group to get wonderful live content bonus trainings just like this. And if you're watching from YouTube, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Instagram, give us a follow. When you have these hormone shifts either up or down, you're really turning on autoimmunity. Mm -hmm. And then it's like the chicken or the egg, right? So it's so important, but yet I have not heard a single, single, any physician actually mention this link or even know how to treat it, diagnose, treat it, or even teach other people how to deal with it. No autoimmune physician have said what I'm saying about the link between hormonal shifts and autoimmunity. And that was learned from my own experience with myself and then later with thousands of people with autoimmune disease and hormonal imbalances. And our clinic beca became very, like, it was the, one of the clinics with the most autoimmune patients in Oregon because we developed a reputation. They can fix it. Nobody else can fix it. They can fix it. <laughs> but, but it started out with my journey into going into hormone balancing for myself because of my own issues be, that was triggered actually by autoimmunity. You're 100% right that no other doctors are doing this because I was searching far and wide, struggling with it for years. I know many others were as well. I want to bring up this comment from somebody that just posted. I had a total hysterectomy when I was 32. I've yeah. been off and on HRT patches, cream, under tongue compounds for 23 years, 55 yeah. now suffering from hair loss, fatigue, trigger finger, pain in my hands, can't lose weight. My doctor says hormone levels... Are normal. Okay, that's really bullshit. Excuse my French. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Bible Belt. But, uh, it, but it just goes to show you, doctors are not trained in this. They do not understand the connections that you have been able, through a lot of hard work and perseverance, to establish. But I really want to talk about this point about people saying your hormones are normal. First of all, good luck getting your hormones checked because they don't know how to test your hormones. So there are specific times you should check a man or a woman's hormones, depending on whether they're menstruating, not menstruating, how old they are, whatever. The other thing too is, is that there are also functional ranges for these hormones of what's normal and abnormal. And most importantly, number three is this, looking at, oh, is progesterone normal or not? Is estrogen normal or not? Is what's the relationship between these hormones? That's what I'm calling a pattern. Mm -hmm. There is zero education, even currently to MDs, about what are these patterns that are really common for people that have a high hormone symptom load that doctors don't even understand. So they'll say, oh, your hormones are fine. And I will tell you universally, your hormones are not fine. I have not seen one autoimmune person with normal hormones, not one. I believe it. And, mm -hmm. and you have somehow been able to figure out, it's like cracking the code in my opinion. You figured out these patterns and now through your program and through your masterclass, you're able to impart this knowledge. I love the fact that in our program, Transform Autoimmune Disease Naturally, we are looking at what is it gonna take to really turn around autoimmunity using the five pillars, of which one of the pillars is hormone balancing. But all the other pillars also feed and work with that hormone balancing, which is why it works for autoimmune disease. And nobody else is doing this with autoimmune disease. So good luck trying to get your autoimmune disease under control, in remission, or better, if you don't master hormones. None of your doctors know how to do that. So that's like such a missing piece. It's, it's painful. It's really painful. I had to live through that. I had to learn it myself. It's about educating you because mm -hmm. I am here to point out to you that like myself, before I learned about hormones, I was blind and dumb about hormones and I didn't want you to know. This is the state of where conventional medicine is. None of them know and they don't want you to know they don't know. So then as a result, they give you wrong answers, dismiss you, and there is zero chance for a patient like you or me back then and even now to get the help that we actually need because we are the one that's, that has to get educated. Because here's the deal. Here's the thing, Anne. Many people looking at this are going to be like, I'm just going to look in the uh, natural section uh, or uh, take some herbs, or I'm going to go find a natural doctor who's a hormone expert, and that's going to solve all these problems. I'm going to tell you, I have a huge issue with these quote unquote hormone experts. 
What are they really focusing on? My functional medicine doctor was actually asking me the same thing. She said, I know you need help. You need to be a hormone specialist. The only ones I know are the type of specialists that can provide you with bioidentical hormones and pellets. Pellets. And like that. Well, that's the thing. I mean, when you go see a hormone specialist now, it's the state of where natural and functional medicine is. Because insurance doesn't cover these types of visits, these doctors have to make money. Mm -hmm. How do they make money is by charging either a lot for those visits and or charging a lot for procedures and services. So the most common hormone balancing thing they do is shoot you a pellet that lasts like three months or six months into you, sometimes up to the thousand dollars a pop. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you right now, taking hormones or hormone pellets doesn't equal hormone balance. And talk about why. Well, we've seen it in the program. In the program, I've had people come in on hormones, on pellets, and they have the most messed up hormone patterns I've ever seen. And they may have felt a little bit better or may not have, but then they're stuck with this in their body. But their autoimmune systems go berserk because remember what I said, Mm -hmm. if hormones are going down really fast or going up really fast, these times are a really hormonally vulnerable time that triggers an autoimmune attack. So I see them on this end where they're like, oh my God, I I got a pellet in or I've been getting pellets or I'm taking these hormones and this year I got diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis and last year I got diagnosed with lupus and now I have neuropathy. This is the common pattern here. Their hormones are not balanced and if anything, it's still continuing to feed, if not even worsening sometimes, their autoimmune attack. The march of the autoimmune attack continues even despite getting these hormones treated that are not naturally being balanced. So really going through your program is how people are learning about what these patterns are and then how to address it. And here's the thing though, I want you guys to know that, look, even if you don't do any of my programs, okay, even if you don't even look at any of our educational content on supplementation, I, I mean, I really urge every single one of you guys that what light bulb aha moment has really lit for you that what am I saying that's really ringing true for you? And the other thing is, what's one thing you can do? Maybe if this spurs you to say, hey, I'm going to list my symptoms here and I'm going to speak with your team to get some videos to help. I'm going to go and check out some of your videos that train people on certain hormone patterns and supplementation. Go and learn education here that is about hormone balance is bonus here. Just do that. But you have to tell us what help you need. So comment in the comment section below. Get yourself started just to learn more.